We recently introduced the Cliff Quick Test on social media and the response was unexpectedly enthusiastic. All the members of the electrical community shared stories of long-held devices, some even handed down to their generations. On the flip side, young electricians seem puzzled by the appeal of this electricery. For seasoned electricians, it's a nostalgic journey, while for newcomers like me, it presents an opportunity to delve into a product that could enhance the electrical testing setup. Before we get into the details of the quick test, perhaps it's best to explore why it even exists. A long, long time ago, before the introduction of the Plug and Socket Safety Regulations 1994, electrical appliances for residential use did not have to be supplied with a 13 amp plug fitted. So if you'd bought a TV, fridge or even a table lamp, you'd be supplied with a stripped cable end for you to attach the plug to. Consequently, the task of fitting a plug remained a component of the O-levels and the GCSE physics curriculum. Though most students didn't pay attention, this led to millions of poorly wired plugs with incorrect fuse sizes being attached to appliances throughout the country. Furthermore, it served as an initial exposure to electrical do-it-yourself projects, motivating numerous homeowners to tackle more complex electrical tasks. Why not simply attach a plug to appliances, you may be asking? Well, although the 13 amp plug became standard in many UK homes during the 1940s, you could still encounter 15 amp, 5 amp or even 2 amp plugs. Manufacturers were actually helping homeowners by providing appliances without plugs to prevent mismatched connections. The challenge now lies with appliance manufacturers. How can they effectively test appliances using just a flexible cable? Enter the quick test, the original screwless connector. Quick test does what it says on the tin, or should I say on the hinged front. Simply insert the stripped wire ends into the colour coded clips and close the lid to power up. We use the quick test to power up a variety of fixed electrical equipment such as lights or motors. The lid includes a switch in both the neutral and line conductors as well as a UK style 13 amp fuse in the line conductor. Most variants come with a neon indicating showing power supply to the quick test is active. Various versions are available with or without the lead fitted. We usually fit our own lead as we often combine the quick test with other test equipment. It's a simple job to wire a quick test by removing the back cover. The quick test is designed to handle a maximum current of 13 amps for 15 minutes and 5 amps for continued use. It is also compatible with a 24 volt DC power supply with a 5 amp current draw. Good news for the viewers in the USA and Canada. Cliff has created a version featuring black and white colour coding so you can also join in in the fun with your strange wire colours. You might find it useful to fix the quick test down to the bench using the two screw holes. For wall mounting make sure you have the lid hinged down so you don't accidentally power up the unit and electrocute yourself or even a colleague. The quick test proves to be an invaluable tool on the eFix test bench. During our review we stumbled upon Cliff's three phase version designed for more daring tests and maintenance setups a purchase we couldn't resist. In the description you'll find a link to all available versions from reputable electronic suppliers like Farnell, CPC and RS Components. While not the most budget friendly tool, it's worth noting that these tools are often passed down generations generating a sense of heritage. Consider it more of an investment or a potential future antique. When it comes to antiques, I'm not referring to Gary's toolbox. You might have an item resembling the quick test like a Rendar safe block with metal clips or another piano inspired design known as the Key Nectar. If you're serious about electrical work, we believe that the quick test is essential. It's far superior to having a few Wagos loosely attached to the end of a flex. What are your thoughts on the Cliff Quick Test? Have you been handed one of these as an heirloom or is it the first time you've ever seen one? Maybe there's something I've missed. Let me know in the comments. But for more informative videos, shoot across here and I'll see you on the flip side. Dada.